What's up guys, my name is Justin, welcome back to the channel today, we are back on iRacing for Rookie Street Stocks at USA Speedway. It is a cloudy, dark, kind of messy day today, but uh, we are going to see how it goes, so I hope you all are having a wonderful Thursday. Um, it's been a little while since I've driven the street stock in official racing, um, probably four weeks ago here, um, but I recall that race went pretty well. It was returned to form, was I think the one that I titled that uh, that video a couple weeks ago. So we did a okay Q lap. Um, it wasn't a perfect Q lap. I haven't gotten a lot of practice. I was busy all day, so just decided to hop into this and do this without practice today but i've run some laps this week and a little bit disappointed with the q lap it is a little bit hotter or it was a little bit hotter when i ran that q lap than when i was practicing earlier in the week so that might have been the half a tenth or so i felt like i was missing but i felt like a low to mid seven was possible uh but maybe not in 79 tts so it didn't matter regardless we ended up on the pole so i was happy with that um now he's got put 40 laps together without getting run over or killed or you know blowing it for ourselves and That'll be a good day. So, yeah, we'll get on the grid here in about 25 seconds or so, as you see there. Make sure you drop that like sub down below if you're new. I greatly appreciate it all. Um, it means the world to me, like I've always said. And uh, I'm so thrilled and thankful that everybody cares so much about this. So, again, have a great Thursday, wherever you are, whatever you're up to. I hope it's a much more bright and sunny day than it is here at fictional USA Speedway in Florida, which unfortunately no longer exists. But... Here we go. We'll get up on the grid shortly. Again, if we get to 1,000 subs by the end of the year, we will do face cam vids for 2025. So if you want to see my live reactions and panic throughout these races, go ahead and drop that sub. So here we go. Got on the grid, unchecked tires and fuel as usual, just in case. Pretty low SOF there. You see 1783, unfortunately. There's... Nobody really, really good in here other than me. Again, I did just kind of decide to do this. I just got home a little bit ago, so. We'll see how this goes, but we are ready. 40 laps, same deal usual. Try to save some tires, keep the fronts on it, not slide the rears too much, and hopefully that pays off in the long run, so. I think this is a Dale Earnhardt Oreo paint scheme. If I just looked at that correctly, it's next to us in the two cars, so. So yeah, 40 laps again. Play the long game, be smart, smooth, hopefully survive. That's always good. Always the goal. Billy's actually pretty fast. He ran an 8.94, so he's got the short run speed for sure. We'll see how his tires hold up. But uh, again, as usual, if he catches us and really wants to go here to start, be my guest. Um, we'll see if anybody else can hang up with us front two. Big gaps in qualifying down to a four that the eight car ran starting fourth, so... Pretty big fall off for the rest of the field, so we'll hope for the best. Um, really need a, a good race after this one. Um, you saw C fixed at Daytona did not go well. I did not enjoy that very much, either during or because of the results. So again, maybe we won't see too much more of that. I just wanted to get something recorded and done for Sunday this past week, and uh, that was what was around and. Everybody likes Daytona, and then ended up being like literally the most boring, worst race ever. So that part of it kind of sucked. But uh, we need some nice rebounds here, because it's been a while since we've lost that much oval ironing. Actually, I guess it hasn't been that long. But um, another another hurdle on our push towards any oval records. But again, without further ado, here we are. Let's get it. I don't know what this guy behind us is doing, but let's try to get a good race. So thanks for coming. Let's do it. Side by side into turn one there for the guys behind. Again, be my guest. Oh, this two car might be dead. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You gotta be very careful on cold tires, but again, you also don't really know what anybody's pace is like, so. A lot of issues that first lap. We only started with, I think, 11 cars, and we're down a couple here already that have spun out and crashed. And I think we've got about seven cars left on track at this point, so. I 
again, not a great SOF. Not a super high track temp by any means, so it shouldn't be that slippery. Three cars had a damage or, you know, a black flag or something and had to pit, so... Pretty sure there are, yeah, like six cars left. <laughs> yeah, six cars, because Billy's still in fifth, and we can see him up ahead ten seconds ahead of us here, so... The three on the relative behind me in that two and a half second gap are the four that are left. Jason's already gone, so... I don't know what happened to everybody. This is, a, this is a strange one. We've already got literally half the field that's dead in the first two laps or penalized or something. So Again, I'm essentially just going as slow as I can right now. I don't think the four car behind is a challenge to us. I don't think anybody would have been regardless. The two or the three, the three start in the back and had issues apparently and is already disconnected. The two had that mistake, it's spun or half spun or whatever on lap one, so. This is working out well with this traffic where we're just able to kind of pass it as it exits the pits off turn two. It's all coming out behind the four car also, but it is creating a little bit of a buffer to the cars behind. Again, not that they're super relevant in the long run here, but. I don't know if it's again because I'm a little bit out of practice at this. Again, I'm only doing street stocks every four weeks now. I just can't be bothered with Sonat and um, Langley. Just don't enjoy this car there because people are so aggressive that you'll never get a payoff at those shorter tracks with the tighter corners. But I love uh, Ricky Street Stocks USA. It's just about as good of a combo on the current tire model that we have because even in a 40 lap race, you get tire fall off. You get punishment for abusing the tires where you gotta you love the 11 that. taking out two people looks like the 11 is killing people at the end of the split so try to avoid that car if we can he's up to third now i guess technically but if everybody's dead that's probably by default so i think he might have been a rookie if i remember on the entry sheet he's a eight or a rookie class 2.99 so again that tells you what kind of split we're in we got a rookie in here so uh what was i talking about oh USA is so much fun. I don't run Charlotte after that first week. Madness, chaos, debacle, death. I just... It's not worth it. It is fun. I do like Charlotte, but it is stressful because you can't trust anybody because everybody sucks and everybody's classless and oh, net code and oh, you know, if whole car, if gap exist, insert, you know, the sentimentality for a bunch of average at best iRacers is, you know, it's pretty toxic and it's present across iRacing at this point, especially since COVID, but, um, you know, obviously rookie class is free open to everybody, so. And if you recall back at Charlotte, that incident I had in the front stretch getting put three wide and hooked in the fence was caused by, I believe, the number two car, certainly a high iron driver relatively for rookie class, so. So, you know, that's part of the deal, but. Just be nice and smooth here, try to get by this lapped car. They aren't a left car yet, but kind of made us fight there. He's going to go down and door bang the four. That's always cool. So, again, just always got to be a little bit more aware and careful here in these lower splits that you don't know what these guys are skill wise or if they're in control of their car fully or not. But we have pulled a really big gap now back to third place, which is that 11 car that's. Apparently infamous. Fourth place is only eight and a half seconds ahead of us. That's back to Billy, so he's probably going to gain ironing out of this, to be honest with you, for a fourth after crashing uh, on the very first lap or having, again, an incident of some sort. Derek, after whatever happened to him, I assume the deal with the 11, is still in fifth. He's up a couple seconds ahead of us as well. And then Tom Dennis has come out of the pits at least once, so. Yeah, we're, we're running low on race cars here, which happens sometimes i guess but this was already a short field just you know 44 cars whatever it's split four splits of 11 i believe so yeah <laughs> doing a good job we still got that nice gap there seven eight tenths back to ryan in the four car so he's still doing a good job of keeping us honest and hanging on virtually you know he's within sight where the 11 car is seven seconds back these two are tripping over each other here so we gotta find our way past them if we can I have to make some kind of bold move here I'm 
pound the fence because I'm bad. Just not, not good at what I'm doing right now. That was sloppy. Didn't end up costing us anything except a little bit of time, obviously. But let the four car get right back to us. Of course, I'm always a big fan of the four car doing well for no reason other than that. It's my number, so. But hopefully we didn't do too much damage to the car or take too much out of the tires there with that slide. But we lost, you know, half a second of gap there over those couple laps that took. So that was a little bit annoying, so. Eight car, although he's in fifth battling, nobody felt the need to just kind of hang on and then get right back in the same fight he was already in, not with the car for position. So, again, whatever. It is what it is. It's the things that come with rookie street stocks as you get in every rookie series. Just it's free content. People just race with the whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyways, back to the task at hand. We're just about to halfway here in another two laps. Four cars caught us back up again, but again, I think that we will be okay as long as we can get laps going, put laps together. Looks like Derek has spun out again. He's towed, so. Now, definitely only four cars on lead lap, and that will probably promote Tom, who's like a couple laps down at least. Yeah, Derek disconnects. So there's only like seven cars left on the track at all. So Evan's gotten back going. So yeah, Tom is four laps down. He's about to move up to fifth place in a 40-lap race, and we are only at halfway, so. So yeah, for context, he's on lap 15, and he's about to be fifth place momentarily. So that's how this split has gone. That's what this field quality is like so far. For whatever reason, I don't, I don't know what's up. Maybe it's a full moon or something. But um, again, plenty of pace in hand. I'm just kind of chilling, dicking around, talking. Not really focusing up. I don't think we have to. Um, traffic is going to be the only thing that affects us here. You know, cars rejoining or spinning or whatever. So if that happens. I'll shut up and focus, but for now we're just cruising. I haven't really had to work the tires or slide too much. Not sure if the car behind has either, to be honest. But again, I think our flat pace is just a little bit better, so we should be good regardless. But 10 car was a little bit of an issue the lap last time and just came out on fresh tires. So we just got to keep that in mind as he's going to spin out. So instant commentator curse. I apologize, Federico, for that. <laughs> That was about as instant commentary curse as you get, and definitely the anti-my dad, because my dad likes to call things on TV for sporting events right before they actually say what he just said. Uh, so I think he should be the next Joe Buck, but he's a little bit too late to be starting his career, I suppose. But, uh, that was all on me, so sorry, Federico, for putting that one on your lap. But uh, it allows to get through him, get some nice, clean, clear racetrack again. Several seconds. Again, we're faster than... Billy as well, up ahead in the two car. He was fast on the short run for sure. Ran a great Q lap. Um, again, was going to be the one that would have to keep us on this, but he made that mistake. And thankfully, he's rebounded back to fourth through some of the chaos. And he's only seven seconds ahead, but in 16 laps, we're not going to make that gap up, especially not pushing here, unless he either falls off. No, or I mean, whatever. Let the nine know that the nine needs to get out of the way because he's several laps down as well. Thank you. So yeah, just one of those quirky, weird events here. We've had all sorts of attrition and death and chaos and whatever. I guess sometimes you just get those. Sometimes you have really close, great battles at the front, and sometimes you just have, like, the most scary, boring, death-filled races you could possibly imagine. So I think I saw the four car there in the mirror on the apron that last time through one and two, so he's lost a couple tenths. He's sliding around quite a bit. 14 to go is still a long ways, so... He's got to keep it together, keep those tires on. He's got an easy second place assured here. We got the 11 car half a lap behind now, so he's got like a 10 or 11 second gap back to third. Clean racetrack for both of us, so he's just got to keep running laps and hanging on. So Run a great race, though, that four car. Got the, got up to second early when the two had his mistake especially, but I think he was going to make that pass regardless, and then just kind of hung around. So I don't know. What else could we talk about? Um... Today is Saturday. It was a busy day for me when I'm recording this. Again, this will be a Thursday video, so I hope you're having a great Thursday. Last video for week six or seven or whatever week this is um, on iRacing. When you're seeing this, it's tomorrow's the first content that I'm going to have recorded from 
that week i think it's going to be probably k5 hopefully tomorrow so it'll be back to back street stocks video um, if everything goes well it's south boston um, so i'll have to do some work on that set we'll hopefully be back with nick and uh, nick can kick our ass some more and ethan and gavin and everybody else that's a regular doing that with us so that'll be a lot of fun hopefully tomorrow for a video but yeah got some other content to record through the week a lot of stuff going on I was car test driving today because that's what i do for fun when i'm bored because as much as i love bluey i have car add and need to at least consider what would be the next option even though i don't have any immediate plans to get rid of my camaro so tend to go with 10 fingers from the flag man there even though he's completely motionless I forgot they named the flag man a while back they named all the you know like pit road guy the lollipop guy as a name officially and the flag man i believe has a name because they gave him a name during covid uh when all those i racing races were on fox they gave him a name so that they could say it on the broadcast or something i don't remember what it was though it might have been like gary or barry or something but regardless um it's pretty pretty dead i think they changed his motion too because he used to have a very rigid you know flag moving motion for any of the flags i don't know if he still has such a motion or if my graphics even promote it you have to keep an eye on that as we get to the i don't know if he waves a white flag or not and then a checkered flag uh, but we'll definitely have to keep an eye on that and look at that nine car now is how many laps down in sixth also four so he's on the same lap as tom federico's five down in seventh so i'm really just cruising around here now i'm really not even paying attention to what i'm doing to be completely honest with you seven laps left hopefully we just catch this one more nine car here and then that's it billy has a chance to get back to irving uh, the rookie for third position up ahead you can just see them out the windshield you know third of a lap ahead of us not going to be the best gauge of tire wear because again i've both not been paying attention to maximize tires and just kind of cruising so we're gonna have weird heat and weird wear cycles hang on to it there evan but we got plenty of gap Irvin, let me buy you, bro, please. I'm way faster. I mean, Billy, this is still technically a race, but you are way faster, so just back up a corner and pass him. And again, when you see those red R class bumpers, you'd be extra careful. I don't know if they still do that. That's a talking point. If you want to leave a comment down below in these last four laps, I'll talk about. I want Irishing to bring back. I, I know it's you know kind of a cheesy thing, and they've grown up with a lot in terms of the word to. You know, they're more mainstream now, more public, more professional, if you want to think of it that way. But I miss when every series you had the colored bumpers. And I think the rumor has you can still turn those back on in most cars. But I know it's not all of them because when they redid the new truck, I don't think you have that option anymore. But I miss when you could see the class, the racing class of the guy you were following. Not that that's an end-all, be-all telltale. But it's definitely interesting to be like, oh yeah, the guy in front of me is a red bumper R class. Maybe I should be more careful. Or the guy in front of me is A class. So at the very least, he's done enough time trials to have driven, you know, up to the cup car or whatever the case may be. So even if he's not, you know, high safety rating or high ironing drivers, there's been a spin here. It looks like the 11 got hooked perhaps by a two. We'll have to go look at that because I'm sure he's not happy. Still gonna hang on the third though, obviously, or fourth, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, I miss... Let's look at the flagman here while I'm talking about this. Okay, so he's waving a much more natural way now, so that's kind of cool. I miss when you had colored bumpers and could tell what what was going on with that. So leave me a comment down below and I'll have to get with Nibon and see if we can get them to put that back in so it's much more easy to tell. But through three and four, final time, one of the races of all time for sure. But we will come around and we will take a victory at USA in the street stock once again. Good race, everybody. So yeah, that is one of them. Ryan must have gotten really free or fallen off cliff. It's going to be just about a five second margin of victory there for him. Or for me to him, I should say, excuse me. Looks like he survived though. Everybody's going to survive. 
Billy gets back up to third. We'll watch what happened with the Indy 11 there for those last couple laps. But uh, that's part of the deal, so that's that. Again, not the most exciting race, but got to do some good talking, I suppose, so that's always good. I, I definitely love talking. Love talking about iRacing for sure. So let's go back and watch what happened to the two car those last couple laps. He's still behind the 11. Yeah, he just wrecked him. I mean, if you ever watch this Billy, that's fucking dirty. I was going to just comment on that quick, but that's pretty dirty. I mean, you caught the guy. You're way faster. There's three to go, and he is for position. Like, it is still technically a race, and you couldn't make a clean pass, so you just drove through him. I mean, that's pretty dirty. That's all there is to it. But uh, 10 at. How did the four car get 10 at? We'll have to go look at that. Were they all wall hits? But, yeah, that one guy threw put it there. The five car threw put it on the grid. Chris Vincent finished 40 laps down in the six car, somehow picked up 4X immediately and left, and literally finished all the laps down. Jason, on lap number one, got 6X somehow on the first lap, left, finished ninth. So everybody else had instance. I obviously had zero. We were just cruising out front. 6, 6, 10, 4, 6, 2, 4, 11, 4. Uh, it must have just been a spin for Derek, but regardless, he just spun out once and left instead of just taking his fifth place finish that he was going to have. I I don't know. Tell me if it's a full moon on Saturday the 27th, or I guess technically it's Sunday now. It's pretty late, but Sunday morning. I, I don't understand what just happened. That was, that was a weird one, but let's go look at what happened to... Uh, what was I going to go look at? Oh, the four car. How did you get 10x in this race? I mean, there were no spins. He only finished, you know five seconds behind me but was he just pounding the wall down I don't I don't understand these last couple laps here I mean he's basically drifting but is he just was he running over lap cars because I guess you know what I didn't think of this he could have gotten the 4x when Billy spun and the 4x when that one lap car hit him at that one point so you know that would be eight at least and I don't know I don't know. It doesn't matter. I, I'm not going to ask questions, but <laughs> that was one of the races for sure. Let's go look at the results of that one. Uh, that was something. So we get 17 ironing back. We lost, what, 62? Is that right? 62 in C-Fix. So back to 55, 16, up over 5,500. So now we're only down 45 for the week on Oval, which is irrelevant, but it still feels good to get a little bit of that back. So we didn't run the best lap predictably just chilling out the first, you know, well, the whole way. But uh, we didn't run the best lap. We did lead all laps, though, from the pole with a nice 0x. Apparently, I'm the only person capable of doing that. Uh, Irving does gain 0.59 SR with however many incidents he had. Some gain for the other cars up in there, but a lot of losses. Look at all those losses, especially for Jason. He was right down at the bottom of the two-point-somethings in A-class, so he loses 0.63 and gets the big bump. Uh, but everybody else kind of just decided they were going to crash a lot today, so... I, I I don't have an answer. If you have an answer for that, let me know in the comments below to whatever the hell that just was. Because again, I I don't I don't know what that was. But uh, again, we had some good discussions. Leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think about the license color. Um, if you want to see the colors return to the back bumpers, you can see the license class and the. I guess you don't really see the rating, but if you want to see the license class of the people that you're racing against. I thought it was a cool touch, but again, I guess in some ways iRacing has kind of grown up beyond that. But regardless, let me know. So that's going to be it. Make sure you drop that like and a sub down below. It means the absolute world to me. So thank you all so much for the love and support. That's going to be it for me. Hope you have a great Thursday. Until next time, as always, I bye.